हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे मे टॉपिक इज प्रोटोजोवा प्रोटोजोवा दीज दीज आर इंक्लूडेड इन द प्रोटिस्ट ऑफ विटेकर्स फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन कम द मीनिंग प्रोटो प्रोटो मीन फस्ट also called primitive primitive jova means animals the first animals on the earth are called protozoans these protozoans are first discovered by antony van leeuwenhoek antony van leeuwenhoek first discovered these protozoans hence uh, antony van leeuwenhoek considered as the father of protozoology and second scientist uh, the term the name of protozoa given by goldfuss goldfuss given the term protozoa and here another scientist uh, van seebold one see bolt considered these protozoans are one celled organisms one cell nothing but unicellular but one see bolt considered these uh, protozoans as uh, one cell organisms and hyman and dobel is two scientists here hyman called uh, protozoans are non cellular dobel called they are acellular okay now we will discuss on second here protozoans are the primitive organisms or primitive animals with a unicellular nature they are unicellular eukaryotic organisms basing on the wittig classification they are unicellular eukaryotic unicellular eukaryotic organisms and the first time discovered by antony van leeuwenhoek by using his simple microscope he discovered so many protozoans so uh, leeuwenhoek considered as the father of protozoology and next uh, van seebold considered his protozoans as one celled organisms one cell means single cell organisms hyman called them non cellular organisms non cellular dobel called acellular organisms coming to first one protozoa the term given by goldfuss first time the word for protozoa given by goldfuss unicellular eukaryotic organisms with fresh water or marine water forms fresh water or marine water forms and coming to the in protozoa the rhizopods rhizopods were discovered by hyman rhizopods were discovered by hyman flagellates flagellates uh, discovered by ferdi ferdi and coming to the sporozoans sporozoans are discovered by lucat you get so rhizopods flagellates sporozoans are there and rhizopods discovered by hyman flagellates discovered by ferdi and sporozoans discovered by lucat coming to our protozoa gender characters goldfuss discovered given the term protozoa first time proto and zoa means they are primitive are oldest organisms they are primitive unicellular eukaryotic fresh water or marine water organisms coming to the nutrition holozoic or holophytic holozoic or holophytic or sapro or parasitic so the type of nutrition in the protozoa is a holozoic holophytic 
and parasitic nutrition is present coming to the digestion digestion it is completely intracellular digestion intracellular digestion protozoans are the single celled organisms that is why the food enters into the cell and digested inside the cell that is called intracellular digestion this the cell membrane cell membrane suppose we take the amoeba amoeba this is the nucleus inside the outermost covering is called cell membrane is called cell membrane inside the liquid is present near to the nucleus near to the nucleus this is called endoplasm and near to the periphery or near to the cell membrane the liquid the protoplasm is present outside the or near to the cell membrane this is called ectoplasm so ecto and endoplasm these two are collectively called protoplasm so the protoplasm in the protozoans is distributed in two parts outer and inner side outer protoplasm is called ectoplasm inner protoplasm is called endoplasm and the differences between the ecto endoplasms are ectoplasm is also called plasma gel endoplasm is called plasma sol what is gel what is sol plasma gel means ectoplasm is viscous in nature and granules also present in the ectoplasm whereas in the endoplasm there is no granules are present so here ectoplasm containing granules and in endoplasm is a smooth it is smooth so ectoplasm is the outside granulated viscous so called plasma gel near to the nucleus the protoplasm is called endoplasm which is smooth non granulated fluid like and is non granulated so like that the protoplasm is distributed in two places ectoplasm and endoplasm coming to the cell membrane it is completely made up of lipoproteins so cell membrane is made up of lipoproteins inside the cell there is a cytoplasm we are calling in the protozoa it is called protoplasm there is a nucleus and nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane also present so that is why they are called eukaryotic organisms eukaryotic organisms so this is about the cell membrane and distribution of the protoplasm after that excretion excretion and osmoregulation excretion and osmoregulation this two the special excretory organelles or organs are absent in the protozoans as they are single cell or unicellular organisms and the cell membrane whatever just now we are discussing about the suppose this is a protozoa a amoeba this is the cell membrane also called plasma membrane or cm for cell membrane or pm for plasma membrane also we are in the protozoa it is called pellicle also pellicle so they are all are aquatic animals in molecules so the medium is water outside is the water is the medium and the protozoans with the ectoplasm and endoplasm the two types of the uh, cytoplasm are present 
and excretion and osmoregulation both are conducted by the special organs called contractile vacuoles contractile vacuoles so contractile vacuoles are the organelles cell organelles the protozoa for excretion and osmoregulation these contractile vacuoles are only present in the fresh water protozoans fresh water protozoans only and its contractile vacuoles are absent in the parasitic forms parasitic forms and also marine forms so in the sea water protozoans and in the parasitic protozoans like sporozoans this contractile vacuoles are absent so whatever we discussed about the excretion and osmoregulation this is a concern for with the contractile vacuoles of fresh water protozoans so excretion and osmoregulation conducted by the contractile vacuoles after this excretion and osmoregulation there is no special circulation there is no nervous system nerve cells are absent there is no circulation and important and the life processes is the reproduction reproduction in protozoans the reproduction may be carried out by two processes one is asexual mode of reproduction second is the sexual mode of reproduction asexual mode may be it is of a binary fission or multiple fission so like that. so binary fission or multiple fissions are the two types of asexual mode of reproduction coming to the binary fission it is of once again two types are there one is longitudinal binary fission second one is transverse transverse binary fission so the best example for the longitudinal is the already you know about euglena the mastigophora with a two flagella a single small flagellum and a long flagellum two flagella are there is the euglena in the euglena longitudinal binary fission it takes place it's one type of asexual mode of reproduction and transverse uh, uh, mode of uh, asexual mode of reproduction binary fission here the animal is divided horizontally here vertical division is called longitudinal horizontal division of an organism and divide, divides into two uh, daughter organisms is called transverse binary fission example is paramecium so paramecium divides horizontally and whereas euglena divides vertically these two are comes under the binary fission one animal divides into two daughter uh, animal cules that is called binary fission coming to the multiple fission also there means one organism divides into more than two or three up to uh, maybe 200 or 2000 animals animal cules coming to the sporozoans sporozoans that's called parasitic in nature especially plasmodium I am taking the example Plasmodium The organism is called the malaria in the human beings is called uh, para, um, Plasmodium by Max Here Shizogony Shizogony is one of the process in this Shizogony one organism divides into more than 1000 organisms that is called multiple fission so plasmodium cytogony is one of the example for the multiple fissions 
Coming to the sexual mode of reproduction in the protozoans, especially in the ciliates, Ciliophora subphylum included a single class, that is a ciliata. In the ciliata, the cilia are the locomotor organelles. Best examples are verticella and paramecia. Verticella and paramecium are two examples, best examples for the uh, ciliates. In the ciliate uh, organism, special, uh, a special sexual reproduction, a unique character of the protozoans. The sexual reproduction of uh, protozoans is called, it is called conjugation. It's called conjugation. So, Conjugation is one type of sexual reproduction in the protozoans and by these two ways, asexual and sexual mode of reproduction, the protozoans, they can divide and increase their number. Like the video, share the video and subscribe my channel, Geology Online Guru. We are stopping here for today about the protozoa introduction and general characters we discussed in the next video we will discuss about the life cycle or case study of protozoa that is paramecium it is included in the syllabus of usmania and kakatiya for msc entrance purposes thank you thanks for watching this video like the video share the video and subscribe my channel thank you